Hello everyone, welcome to my next video in this series of flipping through the bullet journal I made for my sister. So for the month of April, I kind of wanted to stick with like the cliche April, April showers theme, but I wanted to make it, I don't know, my own. So I used a lot of like washi circle stickers and I kind of wanted to keep this like continuous look of like sunshine, clouds, then rain at the bottom. So you'll see a lot of like yellows to grays to blues. Oh, sorry, I bumped my camera stand there. So cover page, pretty typical April showers theme. Um, I don't know why I put three stickers up here. Probably should have only put one, but just that look of yellows to grays to blues, I really liked. I also really liked this uh, month month schedule calendar monthly calendar that's the word that I did it kind of reminded me of those like rain lamps where the water runs down the strings so I thought that was cute and then I kept the important date section at the bottom so for the habit section I drew in three and left the rest blank I also left in a goals section for April and then made a huge brain dump page as well So for the first week, I kept it very open and very simple. Just a little clouded header at the top. And then I drew in um, just kind of like a blue scribble for each day and went over it with a white gel pen for the days. So this one is a very good example of how I tried to keep like yellow, gray, blue, um, in the layout to be like sun, cloud, rain, as if you're like looking at it. Uh, how am I trying to say this? Like looking at the side of a cloud, you'll see the sun over it, the cloud and the rain below it. That's kind of like the look I was going for. So I have a thin little to-do section on this end, a uh, place to put all the daily schedules, which I put on a post-it note in case that wasn't clear, like hour by hour type look up here, and then your daily to-dos at the bottom. So this layout, I kind of wanted it to look almost like it was in a frame. So I have a this week box and then a day to day box, um, sun, cloud, rain as per usual. And I thought this turned out really, really cute. And I don't know, I just really liked the look of it. It's like very simple and straightforward, but obviously, I don't know, just very cute weekly layout in my opinion. So this one, I just made rain clouds. <laughs> I just made rain clouds and that's it. With the dividers between the days, kind of like a little raindrop almost running down the window in a way is what I was kind of going for. I mixed up these days. I meant to put like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but I flipped them, but it's okay. It, it's fine. <laughs> I just was running out of time when I was making this because I think I made this like the night before her graduation party when I officially gave this to her before taking it back to film all these videos but I was like I am not about to just wipe this out and fix it I'm tired of doing that I'm just gonna leave it and thus I did but this is the last layout for the month of April I was debating on putting that finals week schedule that I have up here after April but I decided to put it beforehand so that it can get filled out a little earlier in the semester than last one. But that is all for the month of April. I hope you guys liked this theme as much as I did. I thought it was super cute and super simple, but also very cliche of April showers. Here are some of like the inspiration pictures from Pinterest that I found for the layouts. Please check out my Instagram at Lex Plans and Plants, as well as my Pinterest, Lex Plans and Plants, because I will be posting pictures of all the weekly layouts on there as the month goes along. So any interaction on there would help me a lot. Thank you. 
Uh, have a good rest of your day and I can't wait to see you all for the next video.